What's happening people? It's yours truly Dapolis and whoa, welcome back to another fantastic video from myself. Now guys, today as you can see I'm in my living room, I'm a bit relaxed, I'm chilling. Why? Because all the predictions that we had made last week have all come to fruition. Meaning that all the predictions we've done have made us a lot of money. So when you see me title my videos Forex Millionaire, you have to know that I know exactly what I'm saying. And the good news today is I'm going to be sharing my strategy with you guys. Okay, so this is exactly how the video is going to go. Now, I know a lot of you guys are struggling with Forex and stuff like that, but... Thank God, thank goodness you stumbled across my channel. You're in the you're in your last bus stop. Like say goodbye to all the seminars, say goodbye to all the indicators, say goodbye to all the signal providers. This is the place to be. So today, what I actually want to do is show you guys the predictions we made in the last week's um, technical breakdown and show you guys what exactly has happened and then explain to you guys why I was looking at the charts that way, uh, show you guys how it played out so that you guys can take this information and make a lot of money for yourself. I'm a very simple guy. I don't believe in coming on here and obviously taking you guys around Dubai and showing you guys all the Lamborghinis, which I'm going to do eventually because people like to see that stuff. However, um, what I actually want to do right here is show you guys some charts. Strategy. Let's talk strategy. Let's talk about projections. Let's talk about, you know, entries and exits and stuff like that. Why did I do this at this point? Sit back and relax and watch me take you behind the scenes into the mind, my mind, of one of the greatest traders in Forex on YouTube at the moment. So guys, don't go anywhere. Um, before I jump into the video, I just wanted to say a quick shout out to all the subscribers, obviously, and all the Forex Mastery students. For those of you who haven't grabbed the program, haven't joined the, the course, um, you might be skeptical. That's absolutely fine. That's entirely up to you guys. I, but I can guarantee you that once you're done watching this video and seeing how to trade properly, all of you guys are going to be on board. So do not go anywhere. Um, you have nothing to lose. Just sit your ass down. Okay, grab yourself something to drink. And yeah, let's go to my screen. Pa, pa, pa. What's happening, guys? Welcome inside of my screen. So what I have in front of me, first of all, is the Euro USD. Now, last week we had... Um, done a massive massive projection for the euro and we had anticipated that the euro was going to come into 1.08992 um why I, why i made that projection was very simple and straightforward um, forex mastery students you would know this um there was this massive double top that formed at a major level um and after the major level obviously the double top on the major level the market swung all the way to the downside um to the neckline we came down to the neckline and you guys know forex mastery students you know um this is a reversal pattern especially because of the time frame module five talks about trend reversals so we already saw a trend reversal on this time frame um and obviously the, tr the, 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 the the trend reversal was validated once we broke the neckline now due to the fact that it's a high time frame we don't trade on high time frames but we use high time frames to give us a clear direction so once the clear direction was um given okay once the market had given us a clear direction obviously forex mastery students you know um the next thing to do is scale to a daily time frame and try and look for um tradable opportunities um on the daily time frame so we trade the daily time frame trend within the overall trend and as you can see we were able to you know pick out a pretty decent daily time frame trend which was happening about here and then obviously we now zoomed in and started looking for entries um, my very first entry for this trade was actually here mastery students you know um, our first entry was here and i want to teach you guys a little something now before i carry on with this video um, i'm also going to take you guys back to uh, i'm going to take you guys back to the previous video just a quick 30 second clip of the prediction so that you guys can actually see us predicting it live so that you guys know that this stuff actually works you guys know that the top-down analysis is okay so back to what i was saying um, my very first entry was around this point about here uh, mastery students you know module seven talks about entries and exits um so this was the entry right about here and mastery students you also know that your very first profit target should be at 100 percent retracement and always move your stop losses past break even why because there's always a tendency for a jump back okay this is we've had to put this measure in place to ensure that we don't give back 
what we've made. Okay, it's always ideal for you to lock in your profit. So we have this rule um, in, in Willis University and Forex Mastery Program, whereby once we get to the 100% retracement, which was, as you can see, it came here and started to jump back. Now, because of the fact that we had moved our stop losses past break, past break even and locked in 50% of our position, um, we were able to, one, number one, make money, not a lot of money, but we were able to make and keep as you can see, the worst thing you want as a trader is for you to be in the trade. You made all this profit and then the market starts swinging all the way back up. It is absolutely annoying. So that's one of the measures we use to obviously protect ourselves from stuff like that. And then obviously, um, I was simply watching this blue bar, as you can see, simply watching this blue bar. Um, once, As long as we were trading beneath this blue bar, I already knew that the market was going to remain bearish. All I needed to do was zoom out a little bit. Forex Mastery students, you know, already know how to plot your levels. Um, these levels were obviously um, based on price action. If you look left, uh, you know what to look out for. So obviously, as you can see, once the market was ripe to start falling again, simple counter trend line trade, um, you already know what the entries look like. Um, so obviously, we entered the I entered the trade somewhere around here. And obviously, you knew my first level target was here because for obvious reasons, if you zoom out and go back, um, this was somewhat of a minor level as you can see so we've pretty much rather i've pretty much made a significant amount of money on this trade i'm very very happy um however if indeed we break this level the next level target will be here mastery students you know that the market always moves from level to level okay as you can see from level from this point to this point first of all we started from you know it's all about plotting your levels properly indicators and signals can never teach you how to do this stuff right as you can see we swing from level to this level romance it test it test it and the next level is going to be here that's exactly how the market works the market doesn't move in a straight line it's not linear you know it's not just going coming down it will play around but it always moves from zone to zone uh most of you are probably wondering why this guy keep talking about mastery 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 for those of you who haven't grabbed the mastery program the link is going to be around here somewhere as always or in the description of the video not the comments the description of the video it says it grab the mastery course here so that you guys can learn how to forecast the market like this now this is pretty much the euro usd in a nutshell as you can see this is pretty much the euro usd as you can see in a nutshell uh what's the market going to do next what i'm anticipating next for this um probably pull out a consolidation somewhere around here i do strongly believe that the overall target for the euro should be this blue bar but it's too early to say at the moment as of now i've taken up all my money i have banked it okay it's a fantastic fall and i am happy before i carry on to the next pair i want to show you guys um the prediction of this trade before it happened i need you to watch it so that you can also get some further insight as to why i placed the trade you want me to you want to actually see me analyze the market in real time when exactly it happened it has been that video was obviously published last week but i don't want to refer you guys back to this video to come back to this video so i just to get a clip from that video and put it here so you guys can actually see that's quick you know and then so that you can understand even further so guys let's go to the other video once you're done with that stick around i'm going to obviously speak about the other pair which is gold and oil here actually but you guys know how i like to trade my first level target was always 100 percent retracement we came down here i took out 50 percent of my position move stop loss to break even before i knew what was happening the market pulled back the market pulled back into my entry and stopped me up for a break even, but I'd already taken up 50% of my position. So I didn't really make a lot of money on the first trade. I probably made about maybe 2.3% return, which for some traders would be like, oh, that's so little. Relax. Sometimes the first trade isn't always going to be do isn't it's sometimes the first trade isn't always going to be the trade that will that will make things happen. You know, sometimes the second, you know, you have to obviously wait to see what the second trade has to offer, right? Just give me a sec. So everything had pretty much lined up, okay? You see the first touch, second touch, third touch. But the third touch usually does the trick, but the market was kind of like stalling. So what I did was, and this is what happens. If you get into a trade, this, now I want you guys to listen to this very carefully. If you get into a trade, always take out 50% of, of your position at the first level target, 100% retracement. Move your stop losses to break even so that, and take out so that if the market wants to pull back, it's fine. This way, you're not panicking so that you are now in a more comfortable position for you to now be like, okay, two things at this point, I was like, two things are going to happen. Already, I knew this double top was going to hold. I knew that 
I, this blue bar, like once we come down close below, it tested it, I already knew it was going to hold. But in the event that you're not so confident, what you can do is, you take the first one, if it doesn't really pan out, take what you can, what you can take and chill. Allow the market to tell you what it wants to do. And as the market wanted to start coming down again, as the market wanted to start coming down again, I was now able to jump into the trade again. I had already taken out some money from the first trade. It didn't exactly flow the way I wanted it to flow, but because I had parameters in place to ensure that I didn't lose, at least I took something. This way, I'm like, at least I've taken something from you. Let's see what happens next. And the market came and was about to start falling down again. I drew another counter trade line, and here you have it. Euro USD is on its way down. It has broken that those areas that were disturbing it before. And I can tell you for free that Euro USD next level target is going to be at 1.09032. If we take out this level you already know the blue bar just delete this you already know that the blue bar is waiting for you now for those of you who, who are unfortunate enough not to get into this trade um so like i keep saying to you guys i don't trade on very high time frames although this execution was on the daily for those of you guys who have lower time frame strategies all i want from you guys to take from my channel is to identify the direction direction is very very key as you can see the euro direction has kicked off we're coming down here 1.08992 you can use your one minute 15 minute time frame strategy whatever but what i need from you guys to do is when you indeed zoom in all you need to do is be looking for selling opportunities i am here to give you direction you might not like my entry or my exit strategy feel free to use your strategy okay um forex mastery student now guys once again if you haven't grabbed the program you're missing out a big much of information like you're missing out so much okay if you haven't grabbed the program the link is going to be around here somewhere so that you can look at this market for what it is okay don't don't shoot yourself in the foot and kid yourself and be like oh, guys i don't care what strategy you're using some people come to me and like it does that but i already have this uh, lower time frame strategy blah blah keep your strategies fine the mastery course what it actually helps you do is identify clear directions so that whatever strategy it is you have you can use it in confluence with what the market is telling you once again the link is going to be around here go ahead and grab it so as you can see i've broken this chart very uh, broken down this chart for you guys if you have entered when i've entered most mastery students have if you haven't but you still want to hold on to your strategy it's up to you your strategy moving average crossover blase blase is entirely up to you all i'm here to tell you is euro is coming to 108992 so if you are thinking of buying think again Think again. All I will advise you to do is allow your strategy align for a sales setup, and then you have all this space, all this space to work with. And then watch out once we break out here next level. So you guys, we have a potential huge drop of here. Okay. So whatever strategy entry exit you're using is entirely up to you. I, I am a different kind of trader. I am a very very conservative trader i like to trade and i like to hold and i like to go and do other things so my sales trades are about here i'm expecting and anticipating the euro first level target 1.08992 if we can take out here we're definitely going to come here um why am i anticipating all of this is simple because if you look left um this guy is a bulldozer about here don't play with this green place if we can take out this bulldozer next level target is going to be this blue bar around here so euro usd you had it here first um lower time frame guys use whatever strategy it is you want um but this is what the overall flow is pretty much telling me okay as you can see uh, it's pretty nicely done for us um double top on even on the four hour time frame you have a nice double top here all right, guys, so now that you have a full understanding of what happened on the euro, I hope you guys have uh, that's been able to convince you guys that this methodology and this ideology of the top-down analysis is the most realistic way and the most, you know, logical way to approach things, okay? So now that you have a full understanding of how to break down the charts and obviously identify the flow of the river, mastery students, you already know how to do this. Um, let's go, let's dive even further into gold, right? So let's go into gold and see what happened with gold same thing with gold i had predicted it last week as well i'm going to speak about it now and then obviously show you a clip from us talking about it last week as well short one okay let's keep it brief now over to gold as you can see gold has hit my target as you can see my charts are very simple very clean no need for any hanky panky no hocus pocus you don't need too much on your chart you don't need all those things as a matter of fact i feel like i even have too much on my chart as we speak let's take this green bar out 
Okay, take this green bar out. Um, let's put this about here and let's put this. Mm, sorry, guys. This is actually what I want to map out. So um, for gold, um, let's go to the weekly time frame because I feel like I can see more candles on the weekly time frame so that I can zoom this thing in properly for you guys. Now, guys, for gold, um, I had already predicted $2,047 per ounce on gold. Now, why was I predicting that? It was simple and straightforward. By the time I zoomed in here, I started to see the market. It was, it was, it was struggling to break below this yellow bar. Okay, we had formed somewhat of a triangle inside of here. And once the breakout happened, for me, once I'm able to see a breakout pattern, I already know a breakout pattern. Um, and I just pretty much showed everybody to jump on the buys. Now, what was what actually led to gold jumping up this fast was actually the crisis in Ukraine. Um, as you know, once there's crisis in the world, investors always turn to a safe haven, um, which obviously in this case is gold. Gold is actually the safe haven for the world. Okay, so that's pretty much what happened. But the, uh, the entries look a bit like this okay for for gold now i remember also um a guy running to me in the cafe obviously we were having a conversation and he had been buying gold but for some strange reason gold came and stopped here so all you know he he was because he was so happy with gold he just kept on buying and then this market he kept on buying and then market just came all the way back down okay a quick advice for you guys once again if when for for any time you're in a trade and then the market is giving you pips 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 and then it stops somewhere and just kind of looks like it's retracing take what you can take keep in your account no longer this is no longer floating this is no longer equity keep it as your balance what you then do in this case in his case was um, obviously we came on the daily time frame to see where exactly the market turned around so he was panicking I made all this money on gold all the way to the upside but the market came here the problem is he was still buying all the way to the upside right um, but obviously he lost some money but that's fine when I spoke to him I said listen calm down it's so simple and straightforward all I did was I just simply zoomed out and I looked left and I figured that this was the reason why gold had actually stopped now if this is the case or if you ever run into this kind of issue it's simple and straightforward simply come and put a green bar forex mastery students listen you already know this but let me quickly remind you guys always put a green bar always put a green bar here at the resistance point where the market just turned around for no reason if you feel like the market just turned around for no reason that's fine lock in your profit and put a green bar here what tends to happen is if in this common sense if the market wants to eventually carry on to the upside it needs to break this green bar so i told the guy i said listen he's my very good friend i said listen all you need to do is be patient it looked because at the time of the reversal look at look at this very closely guys look at this very closely it looked like the market was about to reverse and start coming down i was like what's happening i said listen dude don't worry about that look at this point this market looked like it was reversing but guess what happened it started jumping back up again i told him at the time my forecast for gold was two thousand and forty seven dollars an ounce this was two weeks ago you don't have nothing to worry about this market is coming here i can guarantee you this 99 percent um, so what you need to do in order for you to re-enter this market, simple, put a green bar above here, wait for a clear break and a pullback, and the market did exactly just that. So the entries looked a bit like this. Okay. Wait for a decent, wait for a decent pullback. So the entries looked a bit like this, right? So this was the first counter trend line that was drawn. Um, some traders missed that, that counter trend line trade. So this was the trade that most traders who watch my YouTube channel, um, who are Forex Mastery students were able to catch. And I said 1931 all the way up to 242047. So this was a good, this was a good 800 pips. It's a lot of money, okay? Predicted it live here. So I'm not gonna waste too much time here. Let me take you over to the clip from the previous week when we made the prediction. The essence of this is I want you guys to see the power of top-down analysis, to see the power of the Forex Mastery Program. We're not just here to shove courses down your throat. We're here for a revolution. We're here to teach people how to look at this market properly and stop losing money and giving money to the broker. Once again, if you haven't grabbed the program, the link is always gonna be in the description. It says it, grab the mastery program here enough about that let's go over to the weekly and let's go over to the analysis where we predicted gold last week 
for for gold at the moment, um, as you can see, because of the, the the crisis that's going on, gold is a safe haven. I, I'm expecting two or seven four. But let me look at the monthly time frame actually. Um, why exactly is gold holding on? So gold is holding on to dear life because of this week one nine two two. So I really do hope gold breaks one nine two two. Once we break one nine two two, I don't see any reason why, um, or maybe because of this. Let's actually be considering and bring this down here. Okay, let's say two thousand dollars an ounce. So, yeah, I'm actually seeing a triangular breakout happen. Sorry, you see, I don't really like trading um, gold at the moment because gold can be a bit funny. Hold on, guys. So, false breakouts we've held at this base for this long. Hold on, guys. I just want to understand what exactly is even happening with this bloody pair. Okay, cool. So, false breakout, sideways movement, trying to do a stop loss run, didn't get there. We've maintained these highs, chop up here, and then higher lows, higher lows. Okay. And then we had another one like so. So, yeah, I see no reason why I go at least $2,030 per ounce. Um, so this is what I'm calling gold. So guys, just as long as there are no um, agreements between Russia and Ukraine, gold should still maintain this momentum. Guys, and last but not the least, which is oil prices. I think I'm going to speak on Bitcoin. No, no, I'll speak on Bitcoin next week, actually. Last but not the least, which is oil prices. Now, you guys know I have made so much money from oil prices. Why? Because my entries for oil prices were about $68, $65 a barrel, actually, which is somewhere just beneath here, just... So obviously, I looked at the pullback and blah, blah. I'm not really here to talk about oil prices. I just want to show you guys the power of the key levels, okay? This is a key level. We've romanced this level. We've pushed all the way up here. This is how I'm able to project a lot of peeps into the future. I already knew before oil got to $110 a barrel that oil was going to get there. Why? Because of this key level. If you look left, mastery students, you already know how to plot this stuff, okay? It's simple. It's straightforward. Um, if you don't know how to do it, revisit module four. Um, where I talk about plotting key levels so that you know exactly where the market is heading to. This is exactly $64 a barrel to 110 That is a lot of money, guys. I don't think I'm going to be trading most of April because from the euro to gold now to oil, the amount of money we've made is enormous. It's so much money and I'm so happy the market is opening up. Um, oil prices did get a boost, I'm not going to lie, due to the crisis in Ukraine. But as that when I made this prediction happen, when I made this prediction way back in November, I actually predicted this in November, uh, last week in November, as at the time I made this prediction, nobody knew Russia was going to invade Ukraine. There was already an existing trend. I had done the analysis, I had done the breakdown, and we had already said um, our first level targets was actually not 110. We had actually zoomed in and spotted some minor levels, some minor resistance levels. So I think it was 92. My next level target was obviously $100 a barrel after that because of hundred dollars is a round number and it's a very sentimental number to all your prices so as at 92 I had already started taking out some of my profit p1 was here T tp1 was here tp2 was here probably just closing out maybe 10 percent of my position not a lot not a lot but where i really took out a lot of my money was at this blue bar here because this was my overall projection now moving forward oil has now broken above my original projection and as you, as you can see if you look left the highest point that oil has ever been to is $140 a barrel as you can see with my key levels mapped out I don't use indicators for this I don't use signals for this there are certain things that I look out for you know in order for me to plot these things very accurately and I speak about all of them in the Forex Mastery program once again uh, so if you haven't grabbed it do yourself a favor and do that I'm not going to go um, on here and start teaching you guys how I plot these levels because it can take me over an hour when I've already spoken about it on the program so, yes, um, I can sit here and tell you for, for a fact that oil prices um, will romance this area for a bit and then head to $140 a barrel. It's too early for it to head there. The market needs to catch its breath. There will be a lot of profit taking. Oh, there will be a lot of profit taking. Okay, the market will swing back. Um, the market has really bucked its trend line, okay? It's really bucked its trend line big time. So the market will need to come and pour in at some point, okay? This is exactly how the market works. It needs to 
this is too far away from this trend line okay especially if i plot some moving averages it's too far away so we will definitely consolidate the oil prices oil prices will definitely consolidate and we will definitely pull back into this region excuse me guys oh, my goodness i'm gonna round up here sorry i'm trying to get allergies so look for i'm out of oil i'm not making any projections for oil at the moment um, but i know oil prices will definitely pull back into 112 because it needs to come and these levels are too important for it to just blow past it will it will break it but come back play around with it touch it a little bit touch it touch it and then eventually decide to start heading higher so you know the way i look at the market is the market moves from zone to zone and that's exactly how you know we make the tr whole trading thing really easy so there you go guys let me see maybe btc maybe btc might be ripe for a potential upside you no know, btc is still ranging beneath forty four thousand dollars a coin um the only way i'll be interested in bitcoin is if we break about 44k if we break you had it here first guys if bitcoin breaks above 44k next level target for bitcoin will be we will definitely rally into 62k back but if we sustain below 44k we will be pushing down into thirty-two thousand dollars a coin so this is pretty much the deciding zone for bitcoin at the moment 44k is the decider if we break above here if we stay below and start coming lower actually let me even start looking for triangle patterns that might fall breakout pattern so yeah that's pretty much it for you guys so guys do not go anywhere i'm going to take you guys to my other screen um thank you very much for staying to the very end of this video as always shout out to the youtube subscribers shout out to the mastery students and if you haven't grabbed the program of course the link is going to be down in the description ensure to smash the subscribe button i will not stop talking about the program like i said once again we're here to change lives it just costs 99 dollars. people are losing ten thousand dollars a day to this market let us change lives i'm done with people depositing and never rejoining this game so guys thank you very much for staying with me let us go to my other screen let's go Thank you very much for staying to the very end of this very lengthy video, guys. I hope I've been able to share with you guys my strategy behind the scenes, how I like to look at the market, um, you know, what kind of like prompts me to get into the market what kind of like prompts me not to get into the market um why i like to hold my trades for a long period of time and why i'm very patient when it comes to trading so guys um once again i'm going to leave you guys now if you haven't grabbed the program do yourself a favor the links are always going to be around here somewhere um it's always amazing catching up with you guys if you haven't already subscribed to the channel i suggest you go ahead and do so once again it's yours truly that wall take it easy peace out